I'm going to do my best to see what they, I could afford. On day one of open enrollment, Brenda Lopez sought help to sign up for Obamacare. She works part-time, has a pre-existing condition, and hoped a navigator at New Jersey Citizen Action could help her find affordable coverage. I don't know. I hope they give me a cheap insurance, mm -hmm. you know, just for emergency like I had. Health care is a very personal issue for Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman right now. They really um, removed the cancer node with surgery back in August. Mm -hmm. So I'm just plowing through the chemo now. Watson Coleman's been getting chemo for lung cancer, the same disease that killed her mom, she explained. She spoke today during a campaign event for Democrats at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital supporting the Affordable Care Act. 3.8 million people in New Jersey have pre-existing conditions. I'm a living example right now of the importance of having health care and the importance of having access to doctors at a very early stage in what could have been a very, very serious issue. The administration is doing everything can, it can to bring us back to a day when health insurance companies got to pick and choose who was worthy of receiving care and who uh, wasn't worth it at all. This is serious stuff. The administration's decision to abandon people with pre-existing conditions just isn't a flip-flop. It's a broken promise. A new report by congressional Democratic staffers predicted the Trump administration's legal assault against coverage for pre-existing conditions could cause as many as 352,000 people in New Jersey to lose federal protections against coverage denials or premium increases as a result of their pre-existing conditions, gender or age. Basically, it would become unaffordable for many New Jerseyans who right now have a guarantee of, of protection for, for them. Three quarters of people surveyed in a September poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation said it's vital that coverage for people with pre-existing conditions should remain law. Some GOP candidates are saying they'll support coverage despite supporting Trump. We should not make any changes to Medicare or Medicaid to protect the most vulnerable people in our society to ensure their benefits are preserved. And we absolutely must protect patients with pre-existing conditions. The Murphy administration launched a website called getcovered.nj.gov and provided $375,000 for five community organizations to help people navigate ACA enrollment. This after the Trump administration chopped federal funding for navigators by 79 percent and cut advertising by 90 percent. Brenda Lopez succeeded, she texted us. She'd found a plan she can afford. The ACA open enrollment period runs through December 15th, but Democrats on the campaign trail say there's another important deadline, November 6th, Election Day. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.